All right, let's start in Florida because I feel like Florida's gotten the most scrutiny from the spring break parties where people, uh, these college students claimed they didn't care if they got COVID-19 to opening up earlier than anybody in the Trump administration or governors across the country recommended. They're now seeing 14% uh, decrease in cases. How do you justify that with the pro-lockdown narrative? Uh, it can't be justified by the pro-lockdown people, and that's the bind that they've put themselves in. They've preached just kind of this continuing rolling lockdown for the entire nation, whether you're living on a rural farm or living in a big city, like living in the Bronx, say, and uh, everybody has to be locked down interminably. Uh, we just had L.A. County say, oh, we're going to keep extending it for the next few months. Um, but states that have allowed some reopening, like Governor DeSantis in Florida, have been pilloried and their cases are down. They have not had the massive outbreaks to begin with that places like New York City, which did a rigorous but late lockdown, uh, they haven't been affected nearly as badly as states like New York. And uh, these people now are mostly very, very quiet because all their predictions did not pan out. The lockdown was not necessary for Florida. It was not necessary for Georgia, at least at this late stage. And uh, the facts and the numbers, the data, are it's all proving their talking points wrong. I think this is why I, I believe the coronavirus crisis has become an ideological fight because if this were non-ideological, if both sides, and I'm talking about public health officials, elected politicians and media pundits, if these folks were looking at the data, looking at the science, we'd look at somewhere like Florida and everyone would say, please teach us your ways, show us what you did so that we can reopen the economy to the point where it's safe and also protect vulnerable populations because it looks like what you're doing is working but we don't see that. Instead, we still see uh, liberal pundits and even liberal politicians criticizing what Florida and Georgia are doing. Florida, by the way, it's important to note that Georgia is seeing the same response because that makes Florida not an isolated incident. It makes it a pattern. Georgia's new cases declined by 12%. They're at their lowest hospitalization rate in a month.